Hey folks, uh, combinations and probability. The last one we did was permutations and probability. So this is module 21, uh, 3, uh, 21.3, sorry. And I am 3, so it's the same lesson as uh, 22.3 and I am 2, if your classes did that. I know my school didn't where I taught uh, last year. So anyways, what's the difference between permutations and combinations? Okay. Here we go. So an order arrangement is not important. It's called a combination, and you use NCR. In the last one we did NPR. It's very familiar, you guys, except NCR has the additional R. And NPR is just N factorial over N minus R factorial. But NCR is N factorial over R factorial, and then subtract them factorial. Okay, so here's an example. So there's 10 people in the elite math club at Del Campo. Mr. Wolf wants to select three for a picture in the yearbook. Now, can you see order does not matter because he's just selecting three people for it to be in this picture. So it's not like you're getting first place, second place, or third place or something like that. So um, order doesn't matter which three people. So how many different ways can he, um, can he pick these? So this is a 10C3 because order does not matter. So it's going to be 10 factorial over 3 factorial and then 10 minus 3 in here. So that's going to be 7 factorial. See what I did? 10 factorial, this factorial over this factorial, and then subtract them as the other factorial downstairs. All right, I'm going to write the 10 all the way down to the 7 factorial, so, so it'll cancel out with the 7 factorial. And then write the other one out, because there's numbers hiding in there, okay? And then and all these numbers will all cancel. The 7 factorials will cancel, and 3 goes in there 3 times. I forgot if I canceled the 2 in either the 10 or the 8. It doesn't matter. You just can't do it into both right there, okay? Whoops, I guess I didn't do that right there. So, actually, you can just multiply them on this one. You get 120 different ways, okay? All right. So find the number of possible five card hands that contain the cards specified, okay? So you got to know what's in a standard deck of cards, you guys, and the cards are taken from a standard 52 card deck, okay? So we have five face cards. All right, so <clears throat> so of the five cards, well, there's going to be five face cards. So how many face cards are in the deck, okay? There's 12 face cards. There's uh, four uh, jacks, four queens, and four kings. So that one's going to be 12C5, okay? So so we're going to put this factorial over this factorial and then subtract those two factorial right there, okay? So we get um, uh, uh, 12 factorial over 5 factorial, 7 factorial. Now the 7 factorials cancel, and then um, you can start canceling. Um, uh, this 5 goes into 10, this 4 goes into 8, or the 12, doesn't matter. And then 3 goes into 9, or if you didn't cancel the 12, and so on. So anyways, you get uh, 792 different hands. How about a 5-card hand where there's 4 kings and, okay, the, peep, the key pivot word is and. In math and probability, if you see the word and, it means multiply. So we can have four kings and one other card, so it doesn't matter. So so bear with me, guys. Here's we're pulling four kings out of four kings. It doesn't matter which order we pick them in. And then out of the 48 rest of the cards, because there's 52 cards in the deck, we're going to pull one out of that. And it doesn't matter which order these are in. So it's combination, and we're going to multiply those. Okay, so 4C4 is 4 factorial over 4 factorial and then subtract. And remember, this is 1, so um, we get 4 factorial over 4 factorial is 4, okay? Um, I'm sorry, 4 factorial over 4 factorial is 1, sorry. And then 48 factorial is going to be 48 factorial, 1 factorial, and then subtract them, we get 47 factorial. Okay, so this is 48 times 47 factorial, and then so we just get 48 on that guy right there. So we have 1 times 48 is 48 different ways, okay? All right, so you'll get the hang of it, you guys. You just got to practice. Don't give up. I know the wording's awful. It's tricky. Just hang in there. Okay, this one says we're going to have five hearts, and then the keyword here is or. In math and probability, if you see the word or, that means plus. So five hearts and then five diamonds. Well, how many hearts? Well, there's 13 hearts in each deck. There's 13 diamonds in each deck. And so we're picking five hearts or five diamonds, okay? So let's do one of these. So this is going to be 13 factorial over five factorial and then subtract them, eight factorial, okay? 
So go down to the biggest factorial and then you can start canceling. These will always cancel out with some of these numbers on top. Always. Okay, so we get uh, 1,278. Now remember, there's two of them. So we're going to just multiply it by two and we get uh, 2,574 different ways to get five hearts or five diamonds. Okay. All right. So a coin is tossed four times. What is the probability of getting exactly three tails? Okay, so remember, probability is a fraction answer. Number of favorable outcomes over total number of outcomes. And since there's two sides to the coin and we're flipping it four times, then the total different number of ways we can flip a coin four times is uh, 2 to the fourth, which is 16. Okay, so uh, we can get three tails in any order. So it's a combination, okay, of four flips, okay? And since we're doing four flips, then we get four choose three, okay? So we're going to get, and this is our favorable outcomes, okay? This is our top number we're getting. We know the bottom number is 16. That's the total, all right? So this is four times three factorial, so that's just plain old four. So we're going to get four over 16, which reduces to one over four. All right, here's another one. A coin is flipped five times. What's the probability of uh, the results of getting at least a four? Uh, I'm sorry, getting uh, the result is heads at least four of the five times. Sorry. And, and so probability, there we go. So since there's two sides, we're flipping it five times. Two to the fifth gives us 32 different outcomes. That's our, our bottom number. Okay, so for our favorable outcomes, you're getting a result of a heads at least four uh, of the five times, then that means we can get um, uh, we can get uh, uh, four heads. Uh, uh, getting at least four heads means we can get at, uh, four heads or five heads. Okay, remember or means plus. Okay, so we're going to do uh, this is a combination of four or five heads on these five flips. So this is going to be 5C4. This is going to be 5C5 right there. Okay, remember the or means plus. Okay, 5C4 gives us 5 factorial over 4 factorial, 1 factorial, and 5 factorial over 5 factorial, 0 factorial. Okay, this is just 1 right here. This is 5, so we get 5 plus 1, which is 6. That's our top number. 6 out of 32. 2 goes in there 3 times. 2 goes in there 16 times, so 3 sixteenths. All right, one more, you guys, and the bell's going to ring. You've got to hustle. There's uh, equally um, uh, as many boys as girls in the senior class. If five seniors are randomly selected to form a student council, what's the probability that the council will contain at least three girls? So that means three girls or four girls or five girls. Okay, probability. There we go. So since there's two selections, either a boy or a girl, and we're, do and we're picking five of them, so that's two to the fifth, or there's 32 outcomes. That's the bottom number right there, 32. Okay, so it's asking for at least three girls. So the five-person council, which is five choose, we can do three girls or four girls or five girls because it says at least three girls. These are all combinations, so we plug them in. And we get 16. That's our top number. So 16 out of 32 it reduces to one half. All right, you guys, if you are in my class, you're going to be working on that. Take care.